Budget show you've ever seen in your lounge. <laughs> Welcome to episode three of Not On Your Telly. Woohoo! Sometimes people cheer at that. If you cheer at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what? You know what? I don't want your cheers now. <laughs> You're both fired. You're <laughs> oh, what a month it has been. Uh, this month has seen uh, lots of incredible news. The most important of that news is, of course, the coronation of COVID-3, or Omnicron, as it has now been called. Yeah. Which does sound like a strap line from the latest Marvel Cinematic Universe endeavour, doesn't it? That is true, yeah. And conspiracy theorists will be pleased to know that Omnicron is, of course, an anagram for moronic. But so is Rick Moon, so don't believe everything you've read on the internet. <laughs> Storm Arwen has battered parts of the country, mm. uh, and Arwen hasn't caused this much damage since Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Wing. <laughs> the Wing. Fellowship of the Wing. <laughs> uh, and of course, Arwen in Welsh uh, can be roughly translated to fair, which is ironic because 75 mile an hour winds and very strong rain is exactly what the Welsh might refer to as fair weather. That storm swept through Canvey Island, completely destroying areas of it, causing at least two. £2.60's worth of damage. <laughs> that, obviously, is not true. Uh, in 2015, the Met Office actually asked people to send in their recommendation, recommendation for storm names, which is how Storm Arwen got their name. Uh, but they've learnt nothing, have they? You don't ever ask the public to name anything. We should have learnt that from the Great Gritter Crisis of the early 2000s. Gritter Crisis? That was the best part of the early noughties, mate. We had Spread, uh, Spready Mercury. Yeah, great one. Gritney Spears. Classic. Itsy Gritsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Anti-Slip Machiney. <laughs> and my personal favourite, Gary Gritter. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of celebrities, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. He's back on the telly. <laughs> yes. You mean I'm a regular person no one's heard of is back on the Listen, telly. all right, you call it what you want, it's back on the telly! <laughs> and then immediately off the telly, thanks to Storm Arwin and the star of the show, Richard Madeley. Yeah, which is terrifying enough, isn't it? Imagine Richard Madeley being the star of the show. That is tragic, isn't it? He wasn't even the star of Richard and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of stars, it's time for us to hand over to our bandits behind the bar. Our comments checker with a tiny... Please don't say things like that. It's <laughs> Kasabian! Kasabian! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. This guy. There yeah. he is. Yeah, how are you? All right. Hiya, mate. Hiya. Yeah, Hi. yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you. No, nice one. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Hey, how are you? Yes. Good to see you. Oh, we've got a secret handshake, didn't you know? Yeah. Jealous, what was that all about? Jealous much? No. When did you? When did, genuinely, when did you plan that? We've been planning that for a month or so. Are you joking? No, we've had a couple of meetings about it. I didn't think you'd want a secret handshake. Sorry, Roger, don't get upset, okay? It's I'm Ross. Just... Who did you Ross. call me? Ross. Just call me Roger. Ross. What? No, 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 I know your name. <laughs> How are you guys? You're doing well? We're really well, Kasabian. How the devil are you? How has your month been? Oh, uh, it's been hard, you know? It's difficult for me, being so handsome all the time. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Hurtful, too. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got you've got some equipment with you now, haven't you? And I'm not talking about your package. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> you've got what's the what's the guitar for, mate? Mm. Ah, yes. I wanted to. Uh, I like to spread um, messages to people. I wonder what you're going to say then. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, keep it PG. Uh, no, I like to spread messages to people, and I thought you know uh, everyone can learn from my experiences. Um, I go on lots of dates. <laughs> <laughs> One of your most recent conquests in the audience, <laughs> well, it sounds a bit Kasabian. Yeah, that's right, glass You're lucky. Glass with a plastic cup. <laughs> so go on, what is this all about then? You're, gonna, you're actually, this is happening, is it? You're gonna... Yes. 
Okay. I will tell you a story, but in song form. Because, <laughs> because I go on dates, and not always do they go very well. Here's an example. We went out on a date, we had a drink or two. Sounds great. You didn't know me, and I certainly didn't know you. Problematic, I think. Things were going fine, we both were playing the game. Until I realized I'd forgotten your name. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. I'd forgotten your name. <laughs> <laughs> and I've left it too long to ask it Forgotten your name And I'm not brave enough to ask it I'm pretty sure it began with an L or an M or a B or an S It certainly began with a letter <laughs> I'm sure I've done this once before I really should know better So then we sat while well, I tried to ruminate Because there's only so many times that you can Call somebody mate. <laughs> no, it's coming to me. It's coming to me. Nope, I've forgotten your name. <laughs> and I've lived it too long to ask it. Forgotten your name. And I'm not brave enough to chance it. If you could just bring it up organically within our conversation, then I'm pretty sure the trouble is Remembering your designation. Oh, no, it tip of my tongue. Nope, forgotten your name. <laughs> Who are you? I've forgotten your name. <laughs> Who are you? Sing along. I've forgotten your, your name. name. Your name. Your name. Your name. I can't remember your name. Can you remember mine? You can. Well done. Okay. Steve, it's the Fratellis. <laughs> <laughs> Kasabian. Kings of Leon. Oh, not yeah. like the band. <laughs> and so I said goodbye to whoever you are. Oh, amazing! <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, no, 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 stop it. <laughs> we told oh. you it was low budget and we have not disappointed. <laughs> Hey. Uh, well done, Kasabian. Beautiful, mate. Yeah, wonderful. You said that almost genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, Kasabian, you're going to be in charge of our comments tonight, keeping an eye on everybody uh, who drops anything they want to into the live stream comments. So if you want to drop uh, any of your suggestions into the comments uh, for fun things that you might like Kasabian to maybe see next week, uh, next time, who, who knows when the next one Just say be. hello, mate. Just say hello. Stitch up your mates. If there's anyone you want us to take the mickey out of, just... Chuck it in the comments. We'll go through their profile when the VT's on. <laughs> and then we'll just mug them off in front of their whole family on Facebook. Imagine, that. Imagine if we use this platform and all this technology to just mug off your friends. Get in the platform. Maybe your dad. Chuck it in there. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Don't matter, does it? Well, that was wonderful. Thanks, Kasabian. I appreciate it. But from one uh, borderline good musician to a professional <laughs> one. <laughs> to an actual real-life musician. Yeah. We're very lucky to have this person in the studio. Very excited. Uh, they've sold hundreds of thousands of copies of their album as well, their first album. They uh, come back again to do another album as well in 2018, uh, and they got some live stuff that as well. And we've got them here in the studio tonight. Please welcome to your screens. It's Get Cape Where, Where Cape, Cape Fly. <laughs> I'm still reading yesterday's news Look into the past to support my views Aspirational tendencies Is the hope this gonna be the death of me And how should we, how should I How'd you know and how should I? Oh, why should I believe all the things I read? New amps, 
Once upon a time, talk was cheap And words could feed three mouths a week Generational apathy Faking your epiphanies And how should we, how should I How'd you know and how should I? Why should I believe all the things I read? And you and no means Sitting in the backseat chatting all day and night Prove me right Sitting in the back seat, chatting all day and night. Out of minds, out of sight. This is way I know the words are loaded I am not sure I can't decode it right I read things every day About what made us this way I know the words are loaded I am not sure I can't decode it right I read things every day About what made us this way I know Words are loaded, I am not sure I can decode it right. Kate Fly and joining us right now, live in the studio, brackets just this table, is Get Kate Where Kate Fly! Oh, oh, Good to see you. Hey mate. No secret handshake for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> not, not this time. Nah, Next time. Not. Oh, we should have definitely planned one of them. That would have stitched you right up, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, that gag, wouldn't it? Thank you so much for coming on the show, mate. Really thank appreciate you for it. Me. Um, so this is where it all started for you, isn't it? It is 17 years ago. 17 years ago. Know, long time. Was it your first gig as Get Cape in this place it in Chinnery? It was indeed, yeah. Mate, that's phenomenal, right? I know, it's wild. And what a journey as well. I know. So, 2012 you formed here in this building? No, it no. was, um, I, think my f I think I played here when I was in 2003. Wow. And then, yeah, my first Get Cape show here was to late 2004. Wow, and, and you ran for what? So it was about eight, nine years, I suppose. Eight, nine you... years, full throttle into the wall, and then took a break. Yeah. <laughs> Abandoned everything, came back again. Came back again. When did you come back? About about as long as it took for me to realise it was a bad idea. So about eighteen <laughs> months, <laughs> and then it was like six months of. Oh, no. You realise Sam didn't have the same ring to it as Get Cape Where Cape Fly. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> um, so what are you working on at the moment? You had the uh, you got your fifteenth anniversary coming up. Yes, yeah, so it's fifteen years of Chronicles this year, which is wild. So that was in September. We did Isle of Wight on the day, and then supposed to be on tour, and it had a bit of a Corona postponer, and then so we're back corona in Corona postponer. <laughs> so March and April next year. Getting out on tour and just working on a new record at the moment, finishing it off. Awesome, man. And uh, so you've been on tour recently, though, right? You've been yeah, I've just come, yeah, I've just come back off tour with Deacon Blue, which was amazing. Wow. Yeah, it was oh, good. Man. And is that your first foray back into theatres and live music since COVID? Yeah, um, I did a few festivals, but yeah, it's completely bonkers because we're all in super tight COVID protocols. So sure, it's like yeah. talk to one person, then play in front of 10,000. <laughs> it was quite weird. It's just like us, right? Basically, yeah. <laughs> 12 people in Chinnery. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're cu currently at the moment, you're promoting a show in aid of Harp. 
at St Mary's Church. Yeah, so I went to primary, we went to primary school we at did, St Mary's. Yeah. yeah, primary school buddies. Absolute and, Jesus um, bangers back in the <laughs> mate, 90s. And that's all I'm going to play. <laughs> Dance then, wherever you may be. Oi, oi! <laughs> I mean, if it's not Kasabian trying to put me out of a job, as you know. <laughs> so how it goes here. No, yes, yeah, so we're doing St Mary's on the 11th of December, which I've wanted to play a show there for such a long time and um, got to know Reverend Paul. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's spoken to the parish and they're up for letting us try a Christmas show under, under candlelight at St Mary's Church. That's amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. it's going to be special, I think. So how do people get tickets for that and support the event? So get cape where cape fly dot com. There's tickets there, and yeah, it's ten pound. All literally, all the money's going straight to Harp. Awesome. So we're just yeah, a bunch of us uh, are getting together, putting it on, and just think it'd be a fun way to see out the year. All be together before Christmas, listen to some really sad songs about South End, and then <laughs> go to the Blue Bar afterwards and have a party. Mate, it sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Nice one. Look, get Cape Sam Duckworth. Thank you so much thank for coming you on the show, me. mate. Really appreciate it. Get thank Cape you. where Cape fly, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> so you can find out all about what Get Cape is doing on his social media platforms. Get Cape where Cape fly across all of those, uh, and do check out the show at St Mary's Church for Harp as well. Yes, amazing. And speaking of finding out what legends are up to, we have got a great VT coming from the awesome uh, Liam Holmes. Liam Holmes, that's yes, right. I'm super excited about this. Uh, Liam Holmes has been checking out some yoga at Mayora Yoga Studio. I said it right first time, nailed it. Why do I feel like that? I'm going to end up doing some yoga tonight. Nobody, <laughs> nobody knows what you're talking about. Let's hand over to the amazing Liam Holmes and have a little look at this VT, shall we? Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I've been testing out some yoga and I've been loving it. Check out this VT. Let's go. Hello. I am Liam Holmes and guess what? We're coming up to a time of year that is typically known to be quite stressful, right? Christmas is coming and I'm here at Mayura Yoga Studios in Thorpe Bay South End where I'm gonna dive in to that art typically known as meditation that's known to keep us a lot calmer in life. So let's check it out. And then we'll sweep that leg back between the hands. Bring the back left knee to the floor, top of the foot onto the mat. Both hands onto that point. Pass the hands together, separating the feet. Here I am with Paula, who is the founder of Mayura Yoga Studios. Hello, Paula. Hello, Liam. Uh, Paula, when I walked in here, for momentarily, I just felt instant calmness and it was quite an incredible feeling. What is for you, the major benefits of yoga and meditation. It's well-being, mm. and, and people measure their well-being by the way they feel physically most of the time. And um, if your mind is not in a good state and your emotions are all over the place, your body won't be in a good state. So you, we're a reflection of everything we feel and everything we think. Mm -hmm. And so this is why yoga is a very magical practice because it integrates and works with the mind, body and soul. I mean, exercise itself, of course, has you know, great uh, endorphins and great benefits, sure. and it keeps your body lithe and, and fit. But the mental side of yoga and the meditative side of yoga, I think, are uh, powerful tools that perhaps haven't been tapped into by the general public as much as they could be. And typically, what kind of people visit Mayura Yoga Studios? Hugely diverse. I mean, obviously males, females, um, from pregnant women, um, to our TLC class on chairs, mm -hmm. which is people that can't any longer get up and down off of mats, so mm -hmm. we have classes for them. Um, very dynamic for people that have a lot of buzzy energy and they really need to work hard before they can sit and be calm. Other people that um, like a gentle, slow class, some people just about the breathing and the meditation. It's such a variety. So there's basically something for everyone, that really. Was my original statement was yoga for all ages and stages of life. Amazing. <laughs> so. Paula, thank you for inviting me down. I believe we're going to jump into a session, right? Yes. So let's do this. <laughs> and 
toes of the left foot out, the toes of the right. Front left leg just above the line of your knee. So we're going to practice something called Tratak. We're using a candle in this instance. You can use other objects. It's best not to use a candle if you've ever had epilepsy because the, as in lights flickering on tea, it can irritate and attack. But it's a perfectly safe practice otherwise. We're going to use this as a bridge to our meditation. So I just want you to hold it still, away from a draft so that the candle is quite static. And we're going to watch the brightest part of the flame. You can observe this is quite engaging. Its brightness makes it easy for everything else to start to become slightly out of focus. So if somebody wanted to get involved with my yoga, yoga studios, how would they get in touch with you and to arrange a class? They can go and look at the website, which is myyogayoga.co.uk. Mm. Um, and on there is the phone number if they want to call about anything. There's the timetable of classes, they can read about the style, the level, the teacher's profile. So they get a real flavour of what it is they might be choosing before they ring up with their questions. Well that was great. I feel so chilled. And as you can see, I've got my mat, so I'll be back. Can't wait to pop back. Check it out yourself, my Euro Yoga Studios, Thought Base South End. I'm off. For now. <laughs> See you later. I'm actually fuming at how good you're going to be at this. Really. <laughs> this is outrageous. Oh, I um, am so excited about this. Uh, well done, Liam. Nice one, mate. Congratulations. Thank Thanks for doing it. Thank you, mate. Uh, this is for you guys, by the way, because something's coming up for you too. What's that oh, for? So this is like, That's a sacrificial like, blanket, that. This is protect, to protect your heads. Liam, you were really good at yoga. It's the sort of Thank thing you're, you, it's the sort of, you've got like a good zen energy, I yeah. reckon. I appreciate that, John. I'm Thank no you. expert in yoga, mate, but that's not a yoga mat, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what that is? I'm still that, learning, man. That's either a scarf or the back of a train seat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not me, actually. It's Kasagan's. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave these guys to it because you've got something very special coming. Oh, I wonder what that could possibly uh, be. Speaking of which, for that something special, we need to welcome back from Ayura Yoga Studios, it's Paula! Paula! <laughs> Come join us, Paula. <laughs> oh. Thank Hello. you so Hello. much. Hello, Paula. That's a proper oh, mat, that is. This Look is a proper that. yoga mat, the real McCoy. Um, thanks for coming on the show, we really appreciate it's a pleasure. it. Um, it's a pleasure. Really insightful looking at what you did on the VT there as well. Um, now look, we've got this thing going here called Ross versus John, where John and I so can I've seen. compete against various things. We've got a running tally. If we could have Tequila stage manager bring it on. Oh, look at tequila, this. Tequila, everyone. Whoa. Oh, come on. Yay! Well done for showing the back of the board where I've just super glued two, two, two panels from a HelloFresh box that I had at home. Um, this was created by my six-year-old daughter. Oh, it's uh, impressive. I'm not saying she favours one of us, but this is my side of it. Um, so currently, two to me, one to you, John. Yeah, but I've got to be honest with you, mate, I'm feeling fairly confident about today. <laughs> well, that is yeah, surprising because I also feel to no, total lack of confidence. <laughs> Um, you've got a little yoga challenge for us. I have, yes. Okay, great. Well, you talk us through what it is that okay, we've got to do, and I'm I'll going go and cry to put my in the corner over it. Lovely. And um, can we just have a second to talk about your incredible socks that you've got going on here? Oh, what yes. on earth are they? Well, they are. They look like you work on a market store, but only yes. you lose your feet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you guessed. <laughs> that is actually uh. the truth, yeah. <laughs> I and you've accessorised those with your lips. Oh my God, Paula, you are my spirit animal, mate. Look <laughs> at mate, you. Look, 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 look at this. This is amazing. <laughs> You're not going to make me take my shoes off, are you? <laughs> You're taking it all off, mate. All of it? Yeah, shoes, shoes off. Well, <laughs> that's a shoes short off. way to half Are you out. serious? Shoes yeah, off? Yeah, shoes off. Okay, shoes off. Oh, right, really? Right. Shoes off. Oh my God, I'm uh, sorry. Because you, it'll be too difficult with them on. Okay. When I was getting dressed, I'd left the house. Oh, talk, and I tell us more about you getting dressed, Paula. I have... 
I have slippery leggings and a slippery top Don't on. Don't say that word either, Paul. Thing. It's going to be a lot of... <laughs> OK, I'm going to demonstrate first, and then I'm going to have you at either end to show you what to do. Sure, yeah. Sorry, can, just, can we just take a moment to, to reference the fact that John still wears Converse as a 35 year old man? Look at that. <laughs> Nothing screams I do improv in my 30s with a pair of Converse, does it? <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Sorry, go on. So this is what you're going to be doing. You need to put your hands underneath your shoulders, mm -hmm. spread the fingers, ground the hands, and then you bring your knees into the upper part of your arms, and it's called patient crane, and the art of it is to be patient. Patient crane, of course, if Frasier you're... Crane's lesser known brother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you're impatient, you could fall flat on your face because you'll want to kick your feet off the floor. Do you hear that? So it's about going slowly, slowly, till your balance is level. Okay. So just then... for clarity, this scarf here is to protect, to protect us from smashing our face <laughs> we into find the cushions. floor. <laughs> Exactly. But it's not going to make a difference, but, mate, is it? No, your face is already messed up. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is to keep your chin up and then you won't fall. <laughs> so you're going to be doing this in a moment. Oh, my God. You don't oh, have to pay a pound gonna a minute for this sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to invite Liam to count to see who can hold it the longest. Okay. Don't give a thump. Here I come. Here With we go. Are we going one help. at a time? I don't know. What, everyone's going to count? I think right, together. Count? I think probably together. I think together. I think together. together because it's a bit more no, added okay. incentive to keep going. So, so to start, okay. hands underneath your shoulders. Right, so don't rush. All right. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't, don't rush. rush. Don't rush. <laughs> <laughs> so hands it's going to be the best 25 seconds of your life, Paula. Yeah. <laughs> This is what you're paying for, guys. Strap yourselves in. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> OK. And then you bring... You think about lifting your hips and bring your knees onto the back of your upper arms. Bend the elbows back knee. slightly are so you, you can bring... This isn't a thing that's possible, is it? It is. Look how possible that is! Oh, yay! Yay! Well done! Four, six, seven, eight, nine... I didn't well think done. I'd even get my body it's weight amazing. off the floor. <laughs> amazingly. Oh. spectacular. Well, let's chalk this up to a didn't victory for one of those, uh... Mr. Elite Fitness I John think, Oaks. Why don't you grab that board over there and I'll put a great big mark on there to say that yeah. that is another challenge one for John Oaks. Another? Right. Oh, that's leveled it wanna, up. Do you want to put your mark on there for us, please, Paula? Well? In, in John, that's me. Perfect. I do know. It's the one with a sad face on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is another point for John Oakes. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, Paula, of course, from Mayura Yoga Studios, based in Thought Bay. And make sure you check them out. Absolutely. And Everyone's what, where, welcome. Where can they find you on social media? Um, yes, we've got Facebook and we've got Instagram. Well, Excellent. Got Mayura Yoga. Yes, Mayura Excellent. Yoga Studio. Superb. Yeah. Thanks very much. Paula, everyone. <laughs> It is almost time now for our next guest. Now, you're going to be very pleased to know that our next guest, uh, unfortunately, although they couldn't make it, we've got something even better in the studio. <laughs> it's a comedian by the name of Ross McGrain. I'm going to let you put your shoes on, mate. Yeah, thanks, gonna, mate. Cheers. And I'm going to dash over there, and then we might introduce you officially. How does that sound? Uh, well, I mean, wherever you like, mate. <laughs> Let's be honest. If, if this, that's how low the budget is, hosting my own gig. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please give it up one more time for Paula from the Euro Studio. <laughs> so it is time for your <laughs> comedian of the month. <laughs> Uh, we would normally be joined by a wonderful comedian from somewhere around the comedy circuit, but uh, due to issues that we shan't go too deeply into, you've got the best replacement you could possibly imagine. He's a very, very good friend of mine. He's a fantastic comedian. He supported Russell Kane on tour and done all sorts of incredible things, particularly right here in Southend. Please give it up for my friend, incredible comedian, Russ McGray! <laughs> This is what it's all about. 
this is the byproduct of having no agent and absolutely zero prospects in comedy. You've got a rent an audience that I've literally had to tell to laugh in the gaps before the geek. That's, ter that's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Give yourselves a round of applause for supporting live comedy. Thanks to all you lot at home as well for doing absolutely sod all, not putting any effort in, just staying at home, watching the stream. Welcome. It's nice to have people back in the room again after lockdown. How you doing, mate? You well? Yeah, very good. What's your name? Luke. You look like me if I hadn't found drugs, Luke, if I'm honest. <laughs> That's what a clean-cut Ross McGrain looks like right there. What are you doing, Luke? What's, what are you up to with yourself? You're doing a film course? So you're here to learn how film works? I'm sorry, Luke. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and you're in a full Adidas tracksuit there. You like keeping fit? Yeah. Do, do you really, yeah? yeah? I thought I'd said that sarcastically. It turns out you actually do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can, you give, can you give me any advice? Because I am a mess, mate. This is a mess, is what this is. Just go to the gym. What, what do I do when I get there, Luke? I need your help, mate. <laughs> Lift. <laughs> it's the most Instagram answer I've ever heard. I, I spent my whole life as a, as a skinny person, all my adult life. People used to take the mickey out of me for how skinny I've been. During lockdown, mate, that's, I'm, I am an absolute mess now, right? And I know some of you are probably looking at me like, you don't look like you're carrying that much weight. That's because from the nipples up and the bollocks down, I carry it pretty well, right? <laughs> Everything in the middle is a mess. I spent all that time at home. I completed Just Eat, mate, is what I did. <laughs> I went up a watch size. Do you know how depressing that is? A watch size. It's an Apple Watch as well. That's supposed to help with your fitness, hold you accountable. Every time you move your wrist, that counts as a step. <laughs> yeah, let that one sink in for a minute. <laughs> Sitting there on a Tuesday afternoon, middle of lockdown one, my watch goes, congratulations, you've quadrupled your move goal. No, I haven't. <laughs> Piss off, Siri. Just been wanking myself into oblivion out of sheer boredom <laughs> the last three hours. <laughs> Got on loads of weight. Have we got any parents in? Any parents in? We've got some older people here. We've got one at the back there that looks like a Viking. How are you, mate? What's your name? Uh, Mike. Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Did you just make that up? Because you thought I went, Mike. <laughs> 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 How many kids you got, Mike? Uh, four. Four? Jesus Christ. Nothing wrong, bollocks down. Nothing wrong, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, I'd say there is, and that's your aim, mate. Four kids! <laughs> <laughs> What's the age range? Uh, 11, 5, 4, and 2. 11, oh, mate, so when homeschooling happened, you absolutely shit your pants, didn't you? It's all good fun. Jesus Christ. I, I, I've got, like, my daughter's six now, right? She was five when lockdown started. And I thought, having a five-year-old during lockdown when the homeschooling thing happened, I thought, you know, that I've lucked out there. How hard can it be? You know, I've got mates like you who've got kids who are like 11, 12, 15, 16. If you've got to teach them actual stuff, how hard can it be with a five-year-old? You know, cut the potato in half, stick it in the paint, put it on the page. <laughs> That's Tuesday, right? <laughs> Turns out I could not have been more wrong, mate. We all discovered stuff about ourselves during lockdown. What I discovered about myself is that I am an idiot, mate. I'm stupid. First day, we're doing reading comprehension with Lexi. I'm like, look at that word there, Lexi. That word is look. L -o -o -k. And she said, yes, Daddy. And when you put the two O's together, that makes a digraph. <laughs> and I said, go to your room, you little shit. <laughs> I don't even know what a digraph is, mate. <laughs> it's a good age, though, isn't it? It's a good age. Like, I think six, five, six, best age for kids. You know, my daughter's still at an age where if I wanted to do something and she's not having any of it, I can just count to five. Scariest thing that could ever happen in her life. <laughs> Go to your room. No. One, two. <laughs> Shits herself. It's got a shelf life, that, though, isn't it? She's pretty switched on, my daughter, and I just know it's, it's coming. One day I'm going to be like, Go to your room. She'll be like, No. I'll be like, One, two, three. And she'll be like, Come on in, funny man. Let's see where this is going. <laughs> Four, five, and I'm just going to have to knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're lucky the lockdown happened when it did. You know, I mean, we've got technology and all that lot now, haven't we? Imagine if lockdown had happened in like the late 80s, early 90s. What would we have done? We've got young people there. How old are you, mate, if you don't mind me asking? 17! You don't even know what you bought. I can smell the hope irradiating from you from here. <laughs> Honestly, mate, so you've grown up with the internet, haven't you? This guy will never understand the joy of finding porn in a bush. Can you imagine that? <laughs> You don't even know, mate. All that laughter and recognition's coming from the older people. Look at this geezer over here. <laughs> mate, we 
we've got te technology at our fingertips. It's all right there at our fingertips, especially pornography. It's just there, mate, isn't it? It's there. That's a good thing, also a bad thing, I think. Because, you know, but like, this is like, I mean, this is a PG-13. You've got any kids? Cover their ears. <laughs> Actually, send them to bed, the little shits. 25 to 9. <laughs> I like, see, this is like something that the women in the room might not realise and the women watching at home. The split second a man has ejaculated, all that feeling of feeling horny is gone and replaced with utter self-loathing and disappointment in your life choices. <laughs> it's a true story. So when that's a magazine, fine, whack it off the bed, forget it even happened. Now it's all on your phone, right? And you're holding that there. The second you've finished, that phone goes into standby and what you're left with is the world's most depressing mirror. <laughs> Just looking back into your own eyes like... What will I do that for? <laughs> 35 years old. <laughs> it's Christmas coming up as well. And like Christmas presents for kids. I mean, you've got a lot, an array of kids down there. Like the, 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 the first two Christmases, they're the best Christmases, mate, aren't they? Because they're the cheapest Christmases, aren't they? You know, I, like, when my daughter was two, they're like, when are you going to get little Lexi for Christmas? I was like, nothing, mate. I gave her an envelope the other day. She was occupied for 45 minutes. <laughs> what am I going to give her? Like now, she wants, do you know what she wants for Christmas now? She wants a Barbie dream house. And that don't sound like much. 280 quid. I could, well, don't cheer that. I could get a one-room house share for a month for that money. <laughs> a Barbie dream house. 280 quid. Do you know what I got for Christmas when I was six? A yellow fluorescent plastic tube. And when you turned it upside down, it made the noise of a confused Arnold Schwarzenegger, didn't it? Do you remember that? Oh... <laughs> Wow. 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 Yeah, thanks, Mum. Bought me a toy that sounds like I'm choke wanking Donald Duck. Thanks very much. <laughs> first point I realise that, and I'll leave you with this, right? The first point I realise that technology, I won't leave you, leave you, because I've got to host the fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> The first one I realised that technology had gone too far, right? Because I love technology. I'm a big fan of it, right? Obviously. I mean, this is the epitome of technology right here, isn't it? But like, I, I, I feel like it's a double-edged sword. You know, it brings us closer together, connects us with people all over the world, but it also makes us drift further apart. We lose some of the closeness. And the point I realised that technology had maybe gone too far the other way is when we went to go and get the scan done when my other half, Holly, when she was pregnant with Lexi. You know, no one knows what to expect when you're having your first kid, but you know that first scan, that's the first milestone, isn't it? You know, I don't care. No one's really that prepared, but you know that for... Particularly men. You know, we're useless for the first two, 18 years of that kid's life, let's be honest. <laughs> but you know, the first milestone, you're going to go and get the scan done. You're going to turn up. A nurse is going to do the thing. They're going to look inside the, the woman there. They're going to look at your kid. You're going to get the little black and white picture. It's the same picture they give to every couple, but it don't matter. <laughs> it's your journey, isn't it? Right? And we're there, and she's like, the nurse is doing the ultrasound, and that there, that should be enough for us. That's an incredible feat of human technology there. There's a person looking inside the love of my life at my unborn child. That should be enough. But it's not. They offered me that scan in 4D. <laughs> What's 4D, mate? This is 3D. What's 4D? Scratch and sniff? I'm not sure I want that. <laughs> And people put them on Facebook. You've seen them, haven't they? They look hideous. Let's be honest. We're all friends here. People put them on Facebook. Look at my beautiful unborn child in stunning 4D. And it looks like Play-Doh. You stuck fingers in for eyes. Right? <laughs> she said, give us £80 today, Mr. McGrain. See your unborn child in stunning 4D. I said, why would I want to give you 80 quid for a 4D scan of my baby when my girlfriend's vagina is essentially a 3D printer, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thank you. for another track from our resident artist for the evening. Please give it up for Get Cape, Wear Cape, Fly! You say go Find yourself a new home. Say go. Find 
yourself a new home A business infantile to consider yourself the judge but The judge is someone's rights to a better life today Tomorrow when you find yourself away Oh, we ask you to stop and think But you prejudice Because You forgot about something Not even a to get found a way You forgot about something not even a to get found a way, to find a way home. To find a way home. And I found my way home. It's ironic that all the people that cast the stones Are oh, they always the first to moan when the stones are thrown down You forgot about something but not even need to get me found away You forgot about something not even we found a way, we found a way home. We found our way home. We found a way home. It's called a harmonic, that is. Is it? I yeah, thought it was called so. a guitar. <laughs> yeah. See, no laugh there. That was your silence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're back with Kasabian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get it. We get it. How's it going in the comments, Kasabian? Oh, uh, loads. Loads? Well, Can you know. Can I venture any or? You want to hear some? I'd yeah, like yeah, to, yeah, we'd yeah. love to, yeah. Oh, we've got uh, Tom Masters who says, hello from Paris, France. Whoa! But I'm kind of guessing that's some sort of typo. He okay. must be in Kent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a uh, Neil O'Boyle. I want to say Neil. It looked. It's spelled N-I-A-L-L. -L. That's Nile. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like the river. <laughs> it's Mr. O'Boyle, uh, and he compared you two to a popular duo that uh, also presents stuff, uh-huh. but he says he loves you guys. Ah, oh, that's kind. Well, it, uh, where, what happens if you buy Ant and Deck on Wish? Where what turns up? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. I, I wonder which one would be the one that struggled with addiction. Which one would that be? Who knows? <laughs> Anyone? Uh, Mark Arlington has tuned in. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Oh, that? uh, he made a comment about my facial hair. What about it? Go on, let's see the comment. No, it's what fine. Was it? Was it that I'll it... have it out with him on Facebook. That's it. <laughs> was it that it looks like a toilet brush that's had a really good go at it? You know what I mean? <laughs> good life. Been thinking about this, have you? Is it? <laughs> yeah? Got any more? Come on, funny man. <laughs> no, no more. Come on, move on, no more. Go on. <sighs> you know, I come here for free. <laughs> Abby Ann Smith says, "Whoa, hey." Thanks for your input. Enthusiastic. Thank you, Abby. Uh, Misha Emmons thinks I'd be great at yoga. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. You'd be wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're oh, quite stiff. Uh, you could... mm. <laughs> Good. You asked. Uh, oh, Chili Hodgson says, ain't not wrong with Converse. And I agree. What the hell was that, yeah, man? come on. Yeah, everybody wears got Converse. Yeah, these are actual children, mate. <laughs> this is, they're, they're from the college. They're actual, you're proving my point here. I feel like you're cool, man. You're down with the kids, huh? Thanks, mate. Appreciate That's it. That's why you're my favourite. Yeah. You're down yeah. with the kids, is that what cool is now, is it? Victoria Bait Trip says she'd like to be in the audience. Well, work harder, you could have been here. Yeah, the good news is, <laughs> the good news is you can be in the audience for the next show. Uh, the best way to do so is to send either of us a comment or to send a little message via the Not On Your Telly group as well. Yeah, I'll just keep an eye on the, the page and then we'll post the link. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I'll keep you uh, updated on my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone. Julian <laughs> uh, Fisher Utsaka, Utsuka. I'm so good with names. Uh, wants a fart tally from the yoga. How many times Ooh. did you guys fart during the yoga? Well, we wanted a fart tally through the yoga, yeah. um, but the trouble was it was being pointed at actual people who could do actual yoga. Yeah. We felt like if we siphon the farts in over the top, not only is it incredibly childish, but it might actually offend <laughs> some of the people who weren't farting. We was hoping to get more farts out of Liam, to be honest. <laughs> it's pretty amazing stuff. I can, I can barely move. Uh, and so it's, it's incredible, but I have to say, I was thinking every, every move the person was making, I was like, I would definitely fart right now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the holding the candle one. Oh, like like never, a trooper. Never do that anywhere near an open flame, you know that. <laughs> right, Kazabian, thanks for getting through those comments. Thanks to all of you lot at home as well for chucking them in there. Uh, it's time to close the show with another challenge. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, like, thanks for the call yesterday telling me to come up with this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's always great when, uh, when you've got lots of prep time. <laughs> it's a very organised show. Uh, I thought, because I've got uh, Alicia here with me... Oh, is that the name of your guitar? Yeah. You've called it Alicia? Alicia Cuthbert, yeah. Alicia, what? Alicia Cuthbert? Cuthbert, a Why? full name. Why? Well, have you not seen Alicia Cuthbert? She's almost as curvy and beautiful as this guitar. Oh, uh, all right. Who's Alicia Cuthbert? I've no idea. OK, definitely looking afterwards. Come on, up here. <laughs> uh, so what I thought I'd do was uh, play intros for you, like an intro round in a quiz. Great! Yay! 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 All right! OK. Oh, that's the level of enthusiasm we need. All right. Come on, get, get that in the shot. Ready? You got that? That's the level. <laughs> <laughs> right, so how does this work? Can we just shout out and the first person to get it right wins, or...? Uh, to buzz in, you have to say your own name. OK. okay. And also, it'll help me remember them. Um, <laughs> OK, I'll start you... I've got ten. Are you ready? Yeah. You can deal with ten? Great. Everyone else can keep score. I'm already busy. OK? Nice. <laughs> first one. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, John. John Oakes. John Oaks! Uh, it's Kiss Me. No. Uh. I'll start again. <laughs> Is it the Eagle? You didn't buzz in, but okay. <laughs> okay uh, sorry, that would be really unprofessional. <laughs> that one, that No? Can we get Sam to play it? Is there any chance again? <laughs> Have we got anyone that knows what they're doing? That can uh, play any, anybody in the audience got any ideas? Or Sam? I haven't got a clue, but I'll nick it. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think, do you want, me, you want me to complete it? I think Jeremy might know. Oh, yeah. Is it like a, is it like a different tune to, like the, to, the, to, the, to the opening theme of the Royal Family? Oh, 
Oh, the royal family. Do you know what? It's very similar to that. That is uh, Oasis, half the world away. But no, it, uh, it was this. Ten of these, yeah, Ross. Ten, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wake up in the morning, third. I'll be here tonight without a beer. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Are all of these going to be as obscure as possible? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Great, right. okay. Strap right, yourselves two. in. The challenge here we go. is it's me playing, okay? Number we'll two. call that one a draw. Number two. Number two. One point each, number two. I've got it. Drugs. <laughs> is it Kiss Me? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, the song. Oh, uh, no. Okay. I'll carry on. Dad. I'll start from the beginning. I thought I had it. Spread Ross. Yes. Uh, uh, all night to this song, the sheep. You were so close. No, not even a little bit. Oh. I'll go again. Anybody in the audience? Come so far. Get lucky. Get lucky. Get lucky. Oh. That's the song. Yeah. I'm up all night to this song. I said the. It's uh, it's actually not that, but well done for it's clapping. It's not that. <laughs> I, I had to break it to you, mate. It is that. This is a farce. It is that. It's, what is? How, it's, so what is it then? What, what is love? love? Baby, don't what is hurt love? me. Baby, don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. Don't hurt me. I'm having that. No, 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 no. One, one point to John Oaks. Next one. Next Number three. Number three. What are you Number three. You guys will never get this. Right, okay, last ring. one, come on. Last one? Last one? I'm going to be here all night, mate. Jonas! Is it Kiss Me? <laughs> <laughs> no! He's so pleased, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Actually, I knew you guys wouldn't get this one. It's Lakeshore Drive by uh, Eliotta Haynes Jeremiah, so that was fun. All right. <laughs> Why are you clapping that? That was a great song! This is a great song, yes! Hey, today's audience is really good, yeah? Right, one more, go well, on. Last one, last one, last okay, one. Okay, last one. Well, this one last I one. learned specifically. That's the word. Uh, for you guys, I okay. know you guys. You work on the radio, uh, I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. You yeah. should know this. Born yeah. ready. Stop, Ross, me, Doctor Dre. Yeah! Yes! I knew we'd get one of them. All right. Oh, I knew smoking weed every day would pay off for me eventually. Ah, <laughs> oh, said, said somebody who wasn't you live on the live on the radio. Right, yeah. It was a joke. Of course, of course, of you course. You made it worse. I made it worse. <laughs> uh, listen, that is all from us. Sabian, thank you so much. Really appreciate you, mate. Well done. I haven't got you. <laughs> Of course, thanks to everybody who has made the show possible. Big thank you to South Essex College, <laughs> Deadline Communications, <laughs> Kasabian, <laughs> Paula Ramayo Yoga Studio, Get Game Where Game Fly, the amazing people at Chinneries, <laughs> Save Castle, not you. <laughs> Castle, and of course you at home. If you have enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. Tell uh, your enemies. Tell, we don't a, a likes a like. We mate, don't, don't mind. Matter, tell it? everybody. And if you do want to get uh, into the studio audience, you can do so. Keep an eye on the page for all the incredible stuff that is coming up. That's it. Absolutely, that is it. That's all we've got time for. We'll be back next month. Let your friends know. Big thanks to everyone. Take care of yourselves. This has been episode three of Not On Your Telly. Liam Holmes. We love Liam Holmes.